Happy Holiday Month! December just might be the most festive month of the year with many cultural and religious holidays celebrated in the month of December. You are probably most familiar with those celebrated in the U.S. and Canada. Winter Solstice, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Eve. And with the holidays, storytime tales are passed down from family to family through the years. It might be surprising to know that these folk tales, or folklore as it's called, are often about arthropods, including insects. Ladybugs, butterflies, bees, praying mantis, wasps, and spiders all have tales of wonder and wishes during the holiday season. Way back in the Middle Ages, a particularly bad outbreak of aphids threatened the farmer's crops, and the farmers prayed for help. As natural enemies of aphids, ladybugs often appear, and they did. Ladybugs began eating the aphids, saving the crops. The farmers called them our ladies' bugs and cherished them forever. And now we know them as ladybugs, and we still think of them as good luck. Butterflies symbolize rebirth and renewal, and we saw this in our videos, transforming from an egg to caterpillar to chrysalis and to the beautiful butterfly. Bees have symbolic meaning in many cultures. They represent hard work, love, wisdom, and good luck. Bees have been seen as messengers between our world and heaven. Native Americans believe the praying mantis came before the creation of man and earth. They were cherished as symbols of wealth, success, large family, and the cycle of life. And all around the world, in different cultures and religions, the praying mantis represents courage, patience, perseverance, and the will to never give up. There's a heartwarming Christmas story believed to be from the Ukraine about a poor widow and her children who couldn't afford a tree, decoration, or presents. One day, a pine cone fell, bringing a small seed with it. The pine tree started growing inside their small hut. On Christmas Eve, while everyone was asleep, a spider adorned the tree with delicate webs. When the morning sun touched the webs, they magically transformed into threads of gold and silver. The grateful widow and her children celebrated their Christmas miracle and lived happily ever after. The stories and folk tales are fun to hear and pass along. And it's fun to see how these stories have made their way into holiday decorations. Even if they're not exactly true, they still hold real life lessons today, reminding us to take care of our insects, take care of our spiders. While they might not weave golden webs, they take care of us by keeping unwanted insects under control, and that's a gift in its own way. Thank you for joining Kids Ask Dr. Bug about the curious things in the garden. I have linked all of this year's Kids Ask Dr. Bug's videos in the show more section below. Give our video a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't miss out on our next video. Happy holidays, and until next year. See you in the garden. Kids as Dr. Bug originates from the column written by Dr. Tamara Riel, horticultural specialist at University of Missouri Extension. Her column can be found in garden publications, newsletters, and extension websites. Do you have a question for Dr. Bug? Send them to R-E-A-L-L-T at Missouri.edu. Please put Ask Dr. Bug in the subject or ask your questions online at the address listed here.